What is it that you love most about English stars? As a teacher, I really like the fact that I know that all the content descriptors are covered and I know that um, my planning time is it's so much less than, than not having it there. Um, and from the, the student perspective, they're, so, they're far more engaged and they just are um, excited. If I say, right, we're doing English Dars now, yay! And they love the, uh, the, the videos. And so I think that is definitely something which engages them, something that they look forward to. I like the videos and the questions. Every time you get like a few questions right, you can move to the next level. What are the benefits of technology used in the program? Marking, the instant marking. And I don't know if you saw with me sitting with the one student where straight away he could see where he had gone wrong. And he was I think more motivated to go back and try and correct that mistake as opposed to, oh, I've got to go right it again. So it was so much easier for him to, to go and fix that because it was digital. And for, for a student who is who perhaps has some, some, some sort of learning difficulty, it's, so, it's not a fight, it's easier. So the technology side of it is definitely a big bonus. As I've used it, the second, well, today, this year being the second year, I have certainly made it more my own. I'm boss of the of the system, of the program. I'm, I decide what I wanting to what I want to do, what's best for my class, and um, I augment it. I, I put other things in there if I see that my students are struggling in another area. I'm not beholden to the program. I can go and do what I think is right and. I love that part about that. I love the part that I don't have to go and search for heaps and heaps of resources because the resources are there. Um, so that's a big plus factor. What do you like most about English stars? The activity points you earn whenever you complete a level successfully. Come on, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, it makes it a funner, easier way to learn. I think as a teacher, our, our time is so short. You know, we are so time poor. So this is a way for it to be done for you for those times when you can't actually get out to do justice to that lesson. It, it takes that pressure off. And although you can take snippets and you don't have to use the whole thing, you can stop the the film or the video at any point you can add other things at that point I think that's for me is a bonus the fact that it's digital that you're winning already that because it's digital that the students just love that they just love the idea of you know they I think they kind of feel this is more grown up that they working on the on the iPads how do you think the videos help you to learn mm. It helps me understand more. Usually I listen to videos at home and it helps me learn more about it. One thing that, that I do like uh, regarding the marking side of it or the assessment side of it is that instant, um, they know instantly where they are. If they've finished doing their work and I will mark it in front of them, they will be able to go back to their table and they can already see if I've made little notes on it, it's instantaneous. And the little rewards and the little levels that you know that they get the little stars and that they, they do enjoy they enjoy it. And I can I hear them comparing with what did you get? What do they say? What did Miss Hemming say? A good thing about even though it is a digital program, I the narrative that they did this year, I decided not to do it digitally. They had to write it out first. Um, so it had to be in their own hand. So you do, just because it's a digital program doesn't mean to say you have to do everything digitally. Um, it's really important for me as a teacher to know that they can actually you know, write, write a paragraph, write a story. What have you learned from English Stars? I've learned a lot of interesting things from English Stars, but the most interesting thing would probably be 
how to write a persuasive text using um, methods such as compare and contrast, cause and effects, and stuff like that. I like to write in the reports, information text about the places that you actually need to put a can um, a counter um, argument, counter argument um, in your yeah, persuasive text because I thought it was always just the introduction, three um, paragraphs and then the conclusion. <laughs>